extremely oh, good God. Oh, and his his topic seemed to, to bring to life that we all need a Savior. We believe in the doctrine of original sin, of man's inability to save himself from the fallen state that he is in by nature. Therefore, the Savior is needed for our redemption. And I know that's a mouthful. So many thoughts were going through my mind, and I began to think about the time that Jesus, he uttered a hard saying. He had sent out, I believe it was about 70 people to go and preach. When they come back to him, he uttered something that was hard. And they turned and they walked away from him. And Jesus looked at the twelve that were left sitting there. And he said, will you leave me also? They said, Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Where else would we go? <clears throat> Even Apostle Paul began to ride in one place. And he said some hard things. <clears throat> some hard truths that men and women need to need to realize that there is a growth in this that when I was a, a young child I, I thought as a child I spoke as a child I acted as a child because that's what I was but now that I'm older I began to notice that I need to set aside the childish things and move on <coughs> But Paul began to talk in one place and he said that I have great heaviness and sorrow in my heart. For I could even wish that I myself were accursed from Christ for my brothers according to the flesh. I'm talking about the Israelites. Paul said that he wished that he was wrong about this because they had already went about and killed Jesus and set about to establish their own righteousness, Brother Chad. And Brother Listen, and Paul was writing about that, and he said even, I wish that I was separated from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh who are Israelites and to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law. He said, and even who are our fathers. And he, Christ, even came through. But he said, and he went on, and he began to write about it, that because that they rejected the righteousness that was by faith, even when my Lord come, brother, listen, he began to do things, and he would begin to talk to them them as the lives, brother, and, and he would turn to them and they would say, we don't need you, we've got Abraham, uh, we've got Moses, we've got the prophets, uh, look how good we are, look how good uh, that we're doing, uh, you know what, the world, uh, it's going to always tell you, uh, uh, don't worry about uh, uh, your situation, you're a good person. Uh, you might uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, be taking care of your family. You might uh, uh, be doing everything uh, uh, that the world says is good. Don't worry about God. Uh, uh, he'll understand you. But uh, uh, the Word of God says uh, uh, every man and every woman must uh, uh, repent and be born again, brethren. Uh, uh, but listen to me. But Paul, I uh, uh, went on right talking about this he said I, I have the I have the potter I power over the same I, I over the clay of the same love I, I to make one vessel unto honor I, and another unto dishonor I know that's a mouthful I, I'm a brethren listen to me that God I, I, he's still in control brother Billy I, I don't care what this world will tell many women I, I, yeah my Lord uh, uh, he's still in control, brother, and uh, uh, he's got it all. But listen, God does things uh, uh, in a certain way that we don't uh, uh, 
understand. Look at us here. Uh, uh, we've been torn down by this world. Uh, uh, we've had loved ones uh, uh, that's outstripped us and gone on. Uh, and the world will say, well, where's God at? Uh, uh, why did he let these things uh, uh, come to pass, brethren? But listen, uh, uh, how Paul began to write it when he said, uh, I have not the potter power uh, uh, over the clay of the same lung uh, to make one vessel unto honor uh, and another uh, unto dishonor. But what if God, uh, uh, here's where he gets a little tricky, but what if God, uh, uh, will and to make known uh, uh, his power, brother, and, uh, and to show his wrath endured uh, uh, with much long suffering or patience uh, uh, on the vessels of wrath uh, uh, that was fitted to destruction, uh, uh, that he might also make known uh, uh, the glory and the mercy that he's got. Uh, uh, yeah, my Lord, uh, uh, he knows what he's doing today. Uh, uh, he knows where you're at today. He knows uh, uh, what it's going to take uh, uh, for each one of you to uh, uh, finally surrender your life. Uh, uh, brethren, even I can read. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I can even read in the record of God. Uh, a long time ago, uh, uh, there was a famine in the land of Israel. Uh, uh, brethren, listen. So bad, uh, uh, people began to scatter uh, uh, to go find food for their family. Uh, and there was one man of Bethlehem, uh, uh, he left his homeland, brethren, uh, and he moved down into Moab. Uh, uh, yeah, that man, he took his wife, uh, uh, took his two sons, uh, and they moved down in uh, uh, to Moab, and they began to live down there. Uh, uh, well, where in the world? God and uh, uh, why didn't he just feed them back home, brother? Uh, uh, oh, with God, with God, uh, a plan of salvation uh, uh, that's different uh, uh, than what the world would recognize. Uh, uh, it's a little bit rough sometimes. Uh, uh, this world, it ain't our home. Uh, uh, this world, it ain't my home, brother. Uh, I'm passing through uh, uh, one day at a time, but it ain't gonna be long. Oh, one of these days I'm going to leave this world uh, And you know what? The world will look at that And they'll say, uh, oh, my word was God uh, uh, Brother Darrell would uh, uh, listen He preached his life away uh, And then he'd come down to die uh, And where was God at? I'll tell you where God's at uh, uh, He met me down at the river of death uh, And he carried me across uh, uh, where there won't be any more trouble, uh, uh, no more sorrow, brother. And, uh, uh, he endured with me uh, uh, when I was a vessel of wrath, uh, uh, fitted for destruction. Uh, uh, he was patient with me, brother, and, uh, and he was watching over me. Uh, and all the time, uh, I could hear him knocking, but I'd turn it away. Uh, uh, many times I could hear his voice. Uh, uh, Turn a deaf ear to it, Brother Thomas. Uh, oh, but uh, somebody reads that book uh, of Ruth different than me. Uh, uh, they look at uh, that man that had to leave his home uh, in his room in search of food uh, uh, to sustain his family. Uh, and he moved into Moab uh, and got down there. Uh, and was raising his boys uh, and through the process of time uh, uh, you know what happened uh, death happened uh, uh, and listen that man died uh, and the Bible don't even record how he died uh, uh, you know why uh, because it ain't gonna matter anyway uh, uh, that man died but I believe uh, uh, he was doing what he needed to do to serve God uh, uh, oh Staying down there, uh, uh, but listen to me. Uh, uh, her two boys grew up, uh, and brother, they took the wives of the Moabites. Uh, and you know what happened? Uh, life happened again, uh, and both those boys died in that land. Uh, uh, do you believe God's getting ready to work? Uh, oh, I know sometimes uh, uh, we may uh, face 
troubles and we begin to wonder. I, I, I begin to wonder yeah. sometimes, Brother Chad. I, I, oh, Lord, I, how in the world how can I find you in these troubles? I, I'll tell you what, I, I just keep looking upward. I, I, our redemption draws nigh. I, I, yeah. And then they both died. I watched Russ sometimes, and somebody would say, Well, now, how in the world can you find God in that? You see, God was getting ready to work. Those two daughters in law of Naomi, listen, somebody brought word to all of them girls that now there's plenty back in Israel. We might as well go back home. Naomi even changed her name from Naomi to Mara, meaning that God had brought bitterness in my heart. Uh, the full picture uh, uh, that God is laying out in front of us. Uh, because I'm telling you what, uh, Naomi, uh, uh, she got ready to leave the land of Moab uh, uh, where she had buried her husband and buried both her boys. Uh, uh, getting ready to leave that land, uh, uh, that unfriendly land of Moab. Uh, uh, no doubt that's the way uh, she was viewing it. Uh, uh, what a bad place that we're going in. Uh, oh, look at us today. Uh, uh, you think this world any better? Uh, I'm telling you it ain't. Uh, uh, oh, but uh, Naomi, uh, uh, she got ready to leave uh, in the land of Moab. And then two daughters-in-law, uh, uh, they started to come with her. Uh, and she turned to them uh, and she said, go back home. Uh, I ain't got no more children. Uh, I'm an old woman now. Uh, and God has looked bitterly upon me. Uh, uh, go on back home to your family. Uh, and one of them daughters-in-law, uh, uh, she did go back. Uh, and the other one, everybody's heard the story of Ruth. Uh, uh, she turned to her mother-in-law and she said, uh, uh, Where do you go? Uh, I want to go. Uh, uh, where uh, where you dwell? That's where I want to dwell. Uh, I want your people to be my people. Uh, uh, listen, and I want your God to be my God. Uh, uh, yeah. much time uh, uh, while you're here uh, uh, seek my Lord out uh, if you'll do that uh, you'll find a little bit of peace uh, uh, you'll find out that God uh, has got more mercy uh, uh, than we ever even dreamed of having uh, uh, for one another uh, he loves us more uh, than you love that little child brother James uh, he loves me more uh, than I love that little grandson of mine I'm telling you what, and all he's trying to do is get their attention and say, come on over to a land where there's no trouble, no sorrow. Listen to me. And Ruth, she come back home with that mother-in-law of hers, back into the land of Israel. And you know what? God was getting ready. If you'll be obedient to God, even in a broken world like this, Brother Bobby, I believe, you can find and share mercy. My Lord wants to pour out in your life. Yeah, because, listen, when they got back in the land of Israel, two young, two widow women, survive. Uh, there was 
with no government, uh, listen, no government uh, uh, to help them along their way. Uh, and they just about starve, uh, but I've got news yeah. for you. Uh, uh, there in Israel, uh, uh, there was a law uh, uh, that uh, let the poor, uh, uh, let the little orphan uh, uh, glean behind. Uh, uh, when the harvest is made, uh, and listen, as the, as the harvesters go through, uh, and if they take corn uh, and they drop it on the ground, uh, uh, you're not allowed to pick it up. Uh, uh, let the poor, uh, let the little orphans uh, uh, come by and let them get that. Uh, uh, brother, listen, uh, God's got a way uh, of taking care of uh, the poor little sinners. Uh, if they'll just listen, Brother Billy. Uh, uh, yeah. And she said, uh, I'm going to go into the field uh, uh, behind the reapers. Uh, and it was a rough place. Are uh, uh, you talking about a uh, broken down place? Uh, uh, they'd be murderers. Uh, they'd be killers. Uh, uh, they'd be people of low esteem. Uh, uh, people that didn't care. Uh, uh, that's who would be back there. Uh, but here goes uh, this young woman. Uh, and she begins to weep. Uh, uh, she's going behind the reapers uh, as they go through the field. Uh, and she's gathering uh, any food to keep her alive uh, and to feed her mother-in-law. Uh, and you know what? Um, here comes the man that owned the yeah. field. Uh, oh, a rich man come uh, and brother uh, riding upon his horse uh, and he was coming to talk to his uh, uh, his returns uh, and when he got there he noticed a young woman coming in the bag uh, and he asked him uh, uh, who is that young woman uh, uh, that poor uh, young woman Bag. And they said, that's Naomi, uh, uh, that's Naomi's daughter-in-law. And when he heard that, and he knew why she had come, uh, to gather some food to feed themselves, uh, uh, he looked at his, at his own workers, uh, and he said, on purpose, uh, uh, drop a little handful uh, along the way, uh, uh, that she can find it. Uh, uh, yeah! Uh, he does, and if you surrender to him, uh, uh, he bless you. Uh, he give you to eat uh, when you're starving to death. Uh, I know when I, I was out on that barren mountain of sin, uh, I was starving to death. I was yeah. dying a third. Uh, uh, oh, but I love the word uh, that Jesus spoke. Uh, I was hungry and the world couldn't give me the I was thirsting and the world couldn't supply me with what I was needing. Oh, but I've heard mom and dad talk about a man that can supply all my need. All I had to do was call upon him. You know what? It wasn't long after that, uh, uh, that very man uh, that told his workers, uh, uh, you drop a little bit of food uh, on purpose uh, in front of her uh, and let her gather that in. Uh, uh, he married that woman. Uh, oh, uh, and that girl, uh, she had a little boy uh, and they called him Obed. Uh, and that man had a Son, uh, and they called him Jesse. Uh, and Jesse, uh, he had a son, uh, and the youngest one was David. Uh, uh, oh, uh, my God knows what he's doing. Uh, listen, uh, he made me strong. 
struggling in this world. Uh, but keep your eyes on heaven's land. Uh, everything's going to be all right. Uh, and I believe that, brother. Uh, oh, I thought about uh, all of these that are dead. Uh, uh, to right here in our community. Uh, and this morning, I received word uh, of the second death uh, uh, there in the Lexington Church. Uh, uh, two of their members uh, uh, died yesterday. Uh, and they don't know how they're going to handle them, too. Uh, uh, oh, but I, I still got a message. Uh, and my message is, hold on to Jesus. Uh, and everything's yeah. going to be all right. And this is a true story uh, about a woman uh, uh, that was born and as an infant, uh, as a little baby, she lost her sight. Her name was Fanny uh, uh, Crosby uh, and she lost her sight uh, and was blind from an infant. Uh, I don't remember ever seeing anything. Uh, and you know what? Uh, that woman went on uh, and she wrote over 9,000 hymns, uh, uh, very famous hymns, uh, uh, some of them. Uh, uh, one of the songs I've heard sung, uh, uh, Blessed Assurance, uh, and listen, uh, and that woman, she done great things. Uh, and one day there's a preacher uh, that was talking to her uh, and he said, Sister Fanny, uh, I wish that God, uh, uh, that the Master would have had a little uh, uh, mercy uh, and would have blessed you to see. Uh, oh, that woman said, uh, uh, they, uh, they tell this as the truth. Uh, uh, she looked at preacher and said, well, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, if the second that I was born, uh, I would have had one little prayer, uh, one little petition to God. Uh, I would have asked him uh, uh, to take my side away. Uh, and that preacher, he asked her why. Uh, oh, she said, uh, because uh, can you imagine uh, how good my Savior to me, uh, uh, the first babe uh, that I'll ever see yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to be the face yeah. of Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm begging men and women, uh, yeah. uh, get your mind off of the things of this world. Uh, uh, get it seated on God and everything else will be all right. Uh, be burying me next week. Uh, we don't know, Brother Billy. Uh, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I believe everything's going to be alright. Uh, uh, oh, uh, when I close my eyes here, yeah, I feel like I'm going to open them in a better land. And I want to hear uh, all my children uh, singing in the Get ready yeah. to live again. Yeah. That's what it's all about. So often this world sucks me in. It really does. Yeah. And I begin to think it's all about yeah. here and it's about now. I gotta yeah. do this, I gotta do that, I gotta keep this going. It does, it sucks me in. Yeah. But then when I can feel the Spirit of God, Brother Kevin, makes me realize it ain't about this world. It's about Jesus, and it's about going to heaven. I want everybody to come and meet me.